Hey guys, welcome out to the shop today. We're going to be building a drink tote. Some of the material that you're going to need is a three quarter inch dowel, a three quarter inch by six inch by 48 inch piece of lumber, a quarter inch by two and a half inch by 48 inch piece of lumber, and then for your final piece, you're going to want a one and a half inch by quarter inch by 48 inch piece of lumber. I'm choosing to use poplar, but you guys can use whatever you want for your drink tote. I'm gonna start by cutting out the sides and the base. The sides are gonna be 12 inches tall and the base is gonna be nine inches. Now with the one and a half inch by quarter inch piece, you wanna mark off four sections of 10 and a half inches and these four pieces will be going on the side of the drink tote. With the four pieces on the side cut out I'm going to go ahead and cut out the two middle sections for the side and those are going to be 10 and a half inches as well. So now we can go ahead and cut the cross pieces on for the inside to hold the bottles upright while we got this piece of lumber out. The first piece that we're going to be cutting is going to be 9 inches in length. Since we have this piece still out, we're going to go ahead and cut the little hold up uprights to hold the bottles in place. We've got to cut one to the exact length as the bottom piece of wood and the exact width of that bottom piece of wood as well. Before I put the way my board that I'm cutting things on, I'm going to go ahead and cut the dowel. That is also going to be at 10 and a half inches. It's going to go right through both of the side walls. Here you can see everything is all cut out and almost ready for assembly. You have the two ends that are going to have the handle going through it. Here is the base. Here is what's going to be making up the side walls. Here is the cross bracing that's going to hold up the bottles and then obviously you have your handle right here. So I'm marking out for my cuts for where I've got to join all of these couple pieces together and I found three inch and the six inch mark and now I can take this and just kind of center it up as best as possible and I'll make a mark on the outsides of each of those and then I'll take a square and actually create a straight line and then I can take it over to my vise and cut out halfway down on each of these pieces and it should give you a half lap joint and all of these will interlock together. For my two ends, I want a triangular look and I'm going to have the dowel sticking through right here. And the way I got this little angle is I found the center point on this side. I made a mark at four and a half inches down. This top is an inch and a quarter wide. So then I can just take my, my square, I can line up the two points.
So here we are, everything is all nice and dry. We are on a, our final stage of the tote. And what kind of drink tote would it be without having something to pop the top of all your favorite drinks? All you wanna do is center it up and I've got these little wood screws that I'm using. All right, well, they are done. This one is made out of pine. This one is made out of poplar. They're both finished with an early American stain by Minwax and then have a shellac coating over them. Like I said, I got these little bottle openers at our local hobby store and they were only $1.50 a piece. So the total cost to make one of these was less than $20. These make really good gifts. They hold six beverages of whoever you're giving them to. If they don't drink a beer, you can put like a cream soda or something in them. And they kind of give that antique feel. Thanks for joining me today on this build. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and hit it, that thumbs up button. If you guys are new to the channel, welcome. And hit that subscribe button and check out all the different playlists I have. They include woodworking, blacksmithing, general DIY, and our, my weekly vlog. So thanks for stopping by. Share it. And I'll see you guys on the next video. So I don't know what kind of project this would be if I didn't show you guys with the totes actually in use. So there is six bottles that fit into the totes nicely. And you can even take the back side or the front side and put some kind of monogram on there if you wanted to, like vinyl or something like that. But that's it. That is the drink totes completed. So once again, thanks for stopping by. I'll see you guys on the next video.